Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, hi, Lauren Barth. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm healthy and I'm well, so thank you so very much for asking. And we wish the same for my audience across America. I've got Lauren Barth. She's the editorial director of Mom Trends Media. She's here to talk a little back to school. I know you guys need help, so I went and found some of the best people. Lauren, let's get started with some of the advice you can give to parents the best way they can prepare for whatever is coming for back to school. Yeah, whatever is coming is for sure. This is certainly a school year like no other. Uh, but regardless of whether your kids are going to be learning in the classroom or in the living room, you're going to want to be prepared. You want to prepare your children. You want to have some peace of mind. First and foremost, that starts with getting everything you need. So parents know to get the tried and true items, the pencils, the, the you know notebooks and binders and folders. Maybe a mask will be on your list this year. But one item that's often overlooked is a first aid kit. And regardless of where the kids are going to be learning, this is a great time to replenish and customize your own first aid kit. So that's why I like to have all the makings available for a build your own first aid kit. I think that's really important, and at home you should have one, and I think, you know, there's a little portable one your kids need to have, you know, for cuts and scrapes. I got a paper cut the other day I thought I was going to pass away, <laughs> <laughs> but I had a little first aid kit, had a little alcohol wipe, a band-aid. That's so, so important. So what are the benefits of building your own first aid kit then? Yeah, so besides the customization, I'm a really big fan of the Band-Aid brand's Build Your Own First Aid Kit promotion. Here's how it works. You buy any three Johnson & Johnson consumer health products, and you automatically get this amazing first aid kit. It's really fun. It's got a great design. You won't lose it in the house. It's got a bold color. Um, so you can stash all your goodies in there and constantly replenish and fill what you need for your family. It's available exclusively at Target and on Target dot com um, through the end of September while supplies last so snag yours now all right then so that's great uh, uh, parents when they start back to school is this their new normal they need to adjust to this so this is the new normal for now so we need to prepare ourselves and prepare our children um, you know now is a great time to sit down with your kids, have conversations about what they knew, need to do to protect themselves, their friends, their community. Um, keep the conversation going with your kids and with your school and your teachers. Um, so practice those hygiene habits. Have them continue washing their hands frequently. Um, you know, encourage them not to touch their face. That can be easier said than done with little kids, of course. Teach them to wear their mask. Have them practice wearing their mask, even if they're not going back to school full time. This might be the new normal for a while, so they need to get used to what it looks like, what it feels like. So if they're sitting and playing a video game or watching a television program, have them put on the mask for a little bit. Um, you know, talk about social distancing and make sure they understand why it's important that they keep some adequate distance between themselves and their buddies. Again, it's the new normal and it sounds really daunting to have to talk to our kids about these things and teach these skills to our kids, but kids are sponges, they're so adaptable, and they'll adjust easier and quicker than we do as grownups. You're so correct. Now, parents or uh, uh, kids are going to be at home probably, uh, a lot of them, because the experiment of sending them back in a lot of locations are not working. Should parents be a role model in attitude and thinking and action, meaning you want your kids to wash their hands, you want your kids to wear their masks, you want your kids to social distance, do you think, since they are sponges, like you said, should parents model this behavior? Definitely. I mean, not only should they do it for their kids' benefit, they should do it for their own benefit. I know sometimes we think we got to remind our kids to wash our hands, but when your kids are washing your hands, remind yourself that you should be washing your hands as well. You know, we don't realize how much we touch our faces, but we see how many times our kids do. Same thing goes for grown-ups. And, and not only that, we are our kids' first teacher, regardless of whether it's virtual learning or in-person learning. We're still their teacher. We're their number one. So make sure you model this behavior so that your kids learn directly from you. That's such great advice. Uh, as I wrap up, the products you talked about, the resources you talked about, is there a place online for my audience? Yeah, so to learn more about the Build Your Own First Aid Kit promotion, you can visit bandaid.com or go directly to target.com where it's available. 
my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Bounder BB, host of the Bounder BB Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Bounder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Bounder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>